All right, um, welcome back. Uh, this is another uh, screen recording of me trying to learn um, a programming language. And at this time, this is uh, the third day of quarantine and I'll try to learn uh, Python using a hacker rank. So uh, yesterday I already started solving some problems here. I'll just show you that. All right. Um, so this is already all the thing that I've solved, as you can see. And I'm still trying to, so from C Sharp, going to Python, I'm still trying to figure out uh, the commands or the syntax for the Python. So I tried to stream earlier, but I think it's not my thing. So, yep, yeah, uh, here we go. Um, I'm currently now on this Python if else statement. I wasn't able to f fix this yesterday, but this is just the difficulty is easy. So I I know what to do, but I don't know what would be the syntax. So I'm trying to find it out here. I already fixed uh, a problem yesterday using this range command that I uh, I found. Um, yeah, but bear with me one sec. I got... So this is the code that I tried to input yesterday. So if um, n, so that, you would input that. I tried to run this. And I think it's except. Indentation error. I think. Just like that. So nine fourteen. So this is the error that I'm getting now. All right. Um. Hi guys. Sorry. I just caught the uh the video earlier, the recording. But so earlier, as I mentioned, as you can see, if you you will compare my code earlier. So I. Uh, all right, so this was here, and then this was here. But so what I just did, I think it would be like on just on the indention, and I tried to run the code and look, the test case that we got already. That's it. So we have submitted the code. Let's try to run that again just to make sure. See. <laughs> And that's it. I tried to solve that like two days. So I think it would be just on the on the indention compared to what it has earlier. But yeah, let's submit it. Oops, that's the problem. We still have. So the other test cases are passing, except for the three and seven. So I think that would be this on the condition wherein we would include a range so it would be much easier for us to solve this problem so let's go ahead and just, I think that that would just be a, an, in, uh, an if statement so if I'll, we'll use this if so we'll just search that range. I just put on some music here. If Thank you. 
And this is what it has been. I'll just do so declare this. E. Oops. Um, same here. E. E. Hey guys, so sorry I cut out the video earlier, but I just figured out how to solve the else if statement on the uh, half rank. So um, so as you can see on the previous video, I was um, actually having some trouble. So I did some research here on the functions for Python. So I tried first using range, but I wasn't able to um, use this to fix the problem. So what I did is just search for the simple um, if else if statement. So um, I just found out that the keyword is for for the um, uh, else if statement for C sharp. Uh, for Python, it would be E L I F. So L I F. Um, so it's like a shortcut um, key or word maybe. So um, earlier, as you can tell, I was actually having some problems in um, um, figuring out. What would be the um, condition uh, for us to solve this task? So, given an integer, perform the following um, conditional action. So, if um, okay, so all right, um, so these are the conditional actions. So, as I mentioned, it, this is just an easy um, task. Uh, but I was just happy to with uh, what condition or syntax that I'll be going to use. So, so if n is odd, print weird. So, this is this part. So, if n, where the number that the user inputted uh, is odd, so what we'll just do is we check if it's odd. Um, the number modulated by 2 not equals to 0, then we have to print its word. So that is the condition for us to figure out if it's odd or even. And if n is even in the inclusive range of 2 to 5, um, so I've come up with this um, condition. So else if or lf, so the number, if the number is greater than 2 and less than 5, print not weird. And if n, so the, sec, uh, the third pass would be if n is in the range of 6 to 20, so print weird. So if n is greater than 6 and n is less than or um, equals to 20, print weird. So that's it. And then if n is even greater than 20, so as you can see, this is a statement, print not weird. So Earlier, I was having some issues or errors for the um, exception. So um, now I tried to run the code, and now all the test cases are actually uh, passing. So, test case 0, test case 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's it. And I've already submitted the code here. As you can tell, all of the uh, test cases are passing. So we'll move on to the next case. 
part. And yeah, and that is just the explanation for the um, else if statement for Python 3. Alright, see you on the next video. I'll move on with the next challenge.